that the Lord will divinely intervene in that issues of your life in the name of Jesus. It's going to be a powerful meeting. That's going to be open heavens tonight. It's going to be a time when God will turn around the life of men. When God will change situations. It's going to be a time of prayers. You are going to pray. You are going to pray over that challenge in your life. You are going to speak over that challenge in your life. And this night, I want to assure you, fully assure you, solution is coming your way in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, this is the hour of solution. And there will be solution tonight. Don't forget, it's a prayer-based program. We are going to really pray tonight. We are going to really call upon the Lord tonight. And like as I told us last week, there will not be a carryover of any issues in your life, of any challenge in your life, from the year 2020 to the year 2001. Before we came on studio tonight for this live program, I was invited as a guest minister. I just finished a, a, an open air program where I was invited as a guest minister to come and minister and in that meeting, it was, a, it was a time of the demonstration of God's power. The Lord visited men. The Lord changed situations. And coming under the influence of that anointing in that meeting to, this, to the studio for this uh, live program, the Hour of Solution, I believe God strongly tonight. It's going to be a time of real demonstration of God's power. Once again, all our viewers, all our friends, all those that have been connecting to this powerful program from different parts of the globe, we welcome each and every one of us to this unique program. And God has something wonderful for us tonight. God has something unique for us tonight. And get ready. Solution is coming your way this night in the name of Jesus. Whatever is the challenge, Whatever is the hopelessness, whatever is the difficulty, whatever has been causing you pains, sleepless nights, sorrow, whatever has made your joy not to be not, not, not to be not to be fulfilled. This night, the God of solution, the God that has solution to every need, to every challenge, the God that can do all things. The God that can never fail. The God that will not fail. The God of wonders. The God of solution will visit us this night in the name of Jesus. Be expectant. Be expectant tonight. It's going to be a glorious night. It's going to be a night of prophesying. You prophesy into your life. You prophesy against that hopelessness in your life and the Lord is going to change your situation tonight in the name of Jesus I remain your host Pastor Chris Megwara and by the grace of the Lord I am fully loaded tonight with unction to function tonight with anointing of God to break every yoke tonight and I want to congratulate you because this night the 11th of December 2020, the God of solution will visit us in the name of Jesus. Once again, be expectant. Don't let anything to distract you. Be focused tonight. Hear all that the Lord is going to pass across to us tonight. And when it is time to pray, whether you are watching us from your church, whether you are watching us from your home, whether you are watching us from your office, whether you are watching this program on transit, wherever you are watching this program, is the hour of solution. And the Lord is going to visit us in that place in the name of Jesus. Let's have a word of prayers together. Mighty God, 
the God of all solution. The one that is too faithful to fail. The one that is too faithful to disappoint. I want to give you back all the glory for all that you have been doing through this program, the Hour of Solution. Thank you for the manifestation of your power during this program. Thank you for the great testimonies that have been coming in through this program. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we worship you. We thank you, Lord. You are a faithful God, and you have been faithful to us through this program, the Hour of Solution. Tonight, we are here once again. We are back once again for this awesome program. And Lord, I look up to you, just as you did in the program we just had a few hours ago, the Open Air program, just as you moved mightily, and you visited men through that, through that program. Lord, I pray that the same anointing, the same power, you will release during this hour of solution in the name of Jesus. The sick will be healed. The oppressed will be delivered. The blind will receive their sight. The dumb will talk. Those that are deaf, as the power of the Lord moves tonight, the glorious power of the Lord, the mighty power of the Lord, the deaf will receive back their hearing sense in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I pray that tonight, every hopeless situation, situation that seems extreme, situation that seems difficult, Lord, I know that with you all things are possible for such situations, because this is the hour of solution where you manifest your power, where you bring solution into difficult challenges. I pray that tonight there will be solution to every challenge. There will be solution to every need. There will be solution to every problem in the name of Jesus. Let there be open heavens tonight. Let the glory of the Lord descend tonight. Let there be the manifestation of the power of God tonight. Touch our viewers, those that are connected to this program through YouTube, that are watching us through YouTube those that are watching us through other platforms, those that are watching us live through Facebook. Lord, this night, I decree and I demand and I pray, let that be the manifestation of your power, the manifestation of signs and wonders. Let that be the manifestation of the glory of the Lord tonight in the name of Jesus. Give us solutions tonight. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. For in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Once again, I welcome every one of us to the presence of the Lord. This night is an awesome night. It's a night of testimonies. It's a night of power. It's a night of the glory of the Lord. I just told us before I came to the studio for this live program. I was invited somewhere for an open air program. I was invited as a guest minister. And the power of the Lord moved mightily. The Lord touched his people. There were signs and wonders. Situations were turned around. And coming with that same anointing to the studio for this live program, I'm assuring you, whatever is your problem, whatever is the hopelessness in your life, I want to assure you tonight there's going to be a move of the power of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Like as I always say, I don't see problem anywhere. I don't see mountain anywhere. What I see is the power of this God. What I see is the mightiness of God. And whatever is a mountain in your life, whatever is the odd situation in your life, whatever is that situation, that condition, that head condition, that crisis that has caused you sleepless nights, that has made you to ask questions. God, why me? God, have you forgotten me? Why me? This night, during this hour of solution, this prayer-based program, the God of all solution is coming down with solution tonight in the name of Jesus. And this night, get ready. 
is going to be a night of testimonies. The Lord is going to visit us mightily in the name of Jesus. As usual, I'm just going to talk briefly. I'm not an everlasting preacher. And don't forget, this is a prayer-based program. This is a prayer-based program. I'll just speak briefly. Then we get into the time of prayers. Into the time of prayers. Don't forget, this is a prayer-based program, the hour of solution. And this night, through the weapon of prayers, through the mightiness of the weapon of prayers, every seemly hopelessness in your life will change this night in the name of Jesus. The Lord gave me something unique to share with our viewers uh, 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 during this program. And wherever you are watching this program, those of you that are connected to us in your churches, because information has gotten to us that people connect to this program from their churches. Those of you that are watching us from the comfort of your home. Those of you that are connected to us on transit. Don't forget, this is the hour of solution. And this night, solution is coming your way in the name of Jesus. Like as I said, the Lord gave me something unique tonight. And while I was looking up to God, asking him, what should I share with your people during the hour of solution for this week? The Lord gave me something unique. And I believe it's a message that every one of us needs. It's a message of the hour. It's a message that will turn around your situation. It's a message that will bring about divine intervention in that seemingly hopeless situation. And this night, before we pray, I'll be speaking to us on the topic, God's power in a hopeless situation. God's power in a hopeless situation. Some people are in a hopeless situation. Some people are in a situation that, that appears as if they cannot get out of it. Many are in a situation that is very difficult. But this night, I want to tell you there's God's power in a hopeless situation. And whatever is your situation this night, I want to tell you there is hope for you. There is hope for any hopeless situation tonight. Don't forget about the testimony of that woman I shared with us last week. I told us before the COVID-19 lockdown, by God's grace, in my church, I always have a prayer program every Saturday morning. And it used to be a very powerful program. And by privilege, multitude of people attend that program. People come from different parts of Lagos. People come from states outside Lagos for that unique program. And after each program, I will have the time to see those that want to see me for counseling on one-on-one -on -one basis. I remember in one of our meetings, during my counseling time, a woman stepped into my office. And when she entered my office, what she greeted me with was tears, weeping. Her emotion failed her. And she was saying, Pastor, look at me. And she was heavily pregnant, heavily pregnant. I just had to also control my emotion because I, I have great feelings for people. I'm passionate about people. And when I saw her weeping, I was touched in my spirit. But I encouraged her as a servant of God. I assured her that whatever is a problem, the God of all wonders, the God that can do all things, the God that turns around situations, the God that created the heavens and the earth, the mighty God, the one that humbled Goliath, the powerful God. I assured her that God can do all things. And what was her problem? She said she had been pregnant for over two years. That was a hopeless situation. She had been pregnant for over two years. She could not deliver the baby. She has gone around, moved around. No way for her. And what was the genesis of her problem? She said she had a misunderstanding with somebody. Why she was pregnant? And that person told her, you will see. Nine months came, nothing happened. No labor, nothing happened. And she was heavily pregnant. That was a hopeless situation. That was a, a situation that people feel that nothing could be done. But in every hopeless situation, that's a way out. That's a master of a hopeless situation. 
And that's the person we are going to call upon God uh, upon tonight. That's the person that is going to turn around that your negative situation. And I assured her, a great problem, a hopeless situation. A woman that's supposed to have delivered at a night month, but the wicked one tied her, bound her. And I remember, I assured her, I said, I'm not the one doing it. I'm just a servant of God, an instrument in the hands of the Lord. But as a God in heaven, who has commissioned me, who has made a covenant with me to go and release men, to go and lose men. And I encourage her in that hopeless situation. And we prayed. And I gave her the word of the Lord. I told her, within seven days, you are going to deliver. Imagine a woman who had been carrying pregnancy for over two years. And thank God, prayers was made. Just a few days after that prayer, her husband called me and said, Pastor, my wife that you prayed for in less than seven days, just as you said, the Lord has done it. That hopelessness was, was, was taken care of by God. And whatever is your hopeless situation, I bring to you the word of the Lord tonight. There will be a turnaround in the name of Jesus. If the Lord can divinely intervene and deliver that woman whose case was hopeless, who, has been bound, who was bound by the wicked one and was moving around hopeless and the Lord visited her. Every hopeless situation in your life will be changed tonight in the name of Jesus. Don't forget this night before we pray, I'll be speaking to us on the topic, God's power in a hopeless situation. And our text is taken from the book of Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel chapter 37. Please, I want to encourage you, if you have a copy of the Bible, you read along with us. Because this night, there's going to be a manifestation of God's power in that your hopeless situation. I don't care your situation. I don't care what, it, what men have said about your situation. You know, I was, in, your, I was in, in similar situation like you many years ago. And people that doesn't know that it does not take God, it does not cause God means to turn around situation. They wrote me off. My situation was hopeless. But I look up to God. I prayed prayers. I've shared my testimony over and over. And I prayed prayers because I know what God can do. And before you know it, the Lord divinely intervened in my situation. And every hopelessness in my life was turned around. And today I have testimony. And today I can confidently tell you that there's no situation that the Lord cannot turn around. And this night, this night, there's God's power for a hopeless situation. And the Lord is going to change that hopeless situation in your life in the name of Jesus. Our text is taken from the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 37, we read from verse 1. Ezekiel chapter 37, from verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, in the midst of hopelessness, in the midst of doubt, in the midst of unbelief, in the midst of hopelessness which was full of bones, full of hopelessness, full of doubt. But this night, there is life coming into every hopeless situation in the name of Jesus. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, they were very many in the open valley, in the open valley of hopelessness. And lo, they were very dry. And maybe that's your condition. Your life is dry. Your finances is down. Your marriage is down. Your life is not making any headway. Failed expectation is there. Stagnancy and poverty is the order of the day in your life. And there's no hope. But this night, I bring the word of the Lord to you. There is hope for you in that hopeless situation. Verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, can this bone live? And I answered, O Lord, that knowest. And God is asking you, can I change your situation? Do you believe that, that there will be a turnaround in that hopeless situation? Do you believe? 
that woman that is watching me that have been barren for 10 years, 10 years of sorrow, 10 years of hopelessness, 15 years of waiting and waiting, 15 years of asking why, why God is asking you. Do you believe I can turn around that your situation? Do you believe I can give you children? I shared with us here of that woman, 10 years of barrenness. 10 years of barrenness. 10 years of barrenness. I could still remember, I think early last year, the husband called us and said, Pastor, we have a challenge. We've been married for 10 years. And for 10 years, my wife has not been able to conceive. I could still remember, I was on transit. It was a pathetic situation. 10 years of barrenness. 10 years of sorrow. 10 years of hopelessness. 10 years of neighbors mocking her. 10 years of gossip. 10 years of anxiety. And by the word of the Lord, we assure them that there's a God that can do all things. I still remember we prayed. And after prayers, the Lord moved into action. Before you know it, 10 years of hopelessness, 10 years of barrenness, 10 years without a child, 10 years of waking up in the night and asking God questions, why me? 10 years of unfulfilled dreams was destroyed, was turned around. And before you know it, the woman became pregnant. The Lord changed her hopelessness. She became pregnant. And last year, she gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl. God's power in a hopeless situation. And that power is available tonight. In fact, this night is a loaded night. It's a night of power. It's a night of prayers. It's a night of turn around for you. And God is asking you, just as he asked Ezekiel, can I change the situation of those dry bones? That barrenness in your life. That storm in your life. That repeated failure. That sequence in your life, sequence of almost there and never there, repeatedly, God is asking you, you that is watching us at this time, you that is connected to us at this time, God is asking you, can I change that situation? I want to tell you, 